गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम डॉक्टर विशाखा कंसर्न यूनिवर्सिटीज I think we will be the resuscitation team. Uh, shall we introduce ourselves now? I'm Dr. Sachini. I'm an anesthesia medical officer. I'm an ALS provider. Okay, good. I'm Dr. Ashoda. I'm the on-call emergency medicine registrar today. I'm also an ALS provider. Okay, good. Uh, Sachini, since you are from anesthesia, would you like to take over the AV if there is a cardiac arrest? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay. And uh, Ashoda, are you familiar with the defibrillators in the hospital? Yes. Can you take over the defibrillators uh, if there is a cardiac arrest? Yes, I think I'll be alright. Okay, brilliant. Um, so since we are only three of us here, I think probably when we go to the ward, uh, we will be able to find uh, three more people for the team. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, we we'll wait for a call. Yeah. Yes. See you. See, See you. you. डॉक्टर खाड़ी अक्का ने स्टेक आप इमरजेंसी टीम में कितना कॉल करा ना इमरजेंसी ट्रॉली अक्का डीपी पे कहीं आराम नहीं ना Now we can start 30 to 2 compressions. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. One. Good chest expansion. Two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now I am ready for the rhythm check. Stop. Start. This is a shockable rhythm VF. I am going to defibrillate the patient. Charging. Oxygen away. Stop chest compression. All is stand clear. Start synchronized CPR. What's going on? Uh, I'm Dr. Vishaka. I'm the consultant and service association team leader. Um, so what is happening here? Uh, I'm Dr. Tusita, house officer. This is a 37-year-old patient with ischemic heart disease history. There was a witness cardiac arrest three minutes ago. We have started CPR and we have delivered a shock because there was a VF one minute ago. Okay, well done. Uh, so can I know your name, please? We are already giving uh, chest compressions at 32, isn't it? I'm Dr. Sayomi, house officer. I'm Sulilani, nursing officer. Are you both uh, ALS providers? Yes. Okay, I think you can carry on. And uh, can I have uh, Sachin to take over the airway, please? Yeah, and sure. uh, Yashoda, would you like to go to the defibrillation? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay. And uh, Tusita, yes. can you continue the chest compression with uh, Sayomi? Yes. yes and sure. uh, Miss Sulilani, would you like to take over the scribing? Yes, ma'am. And uh, I think you can start scribing, uh, uh, count the time from one minute because we are already one okay. minute in, yes. isn't it? And uh, can I have the case notes, please? Yes, yeah, sure, ma'am. Thank you, Ms. Sulilani. Um, so let's see what's going on with more. this patient. So I think it's 20 seconds more. We have to get ready for the next rhythm check. Let me know when it's five seconds. Okay, madam. Five seconds more to the next rhythm check. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Start. It's a VF shockable rhythm. Over to you, Yashoda. Okay, thank you. So, Sayomi, now I'm going to deliver a shock. But I want you to continue CPR. Everyone else, please step away. Oxygen away. Charging 270 joule. Stop CPR. 
all clear still we f delivery shock start cpr okay well done yashoda i think uh, sachini you can secure the airway now with the endotracheal intubation sure. and sayomi i want you to insert for, uh, 18 gauge iv cannula and take blood for full blood count blood urea electrolytes and venous blood gas and also proponin night sure ma'am and uh, i want you to get ready for the next shock with uh, iv amedron 300 mg and iv adrenaline 1 in 10000 1 mg and also i want you to uh, start a drip let me know once you have done all these things iv access gain and all the blood samples in okay well done yeah we secured we have etco2 of 18 okay good so to see the can you continue the chest compression uh, 100 to 120 per minute okay sure and sachini can you continue the bre breathing uh, 10 breaths per minute okay sure okay well done so i think uh, we can uh, move to the patient's uh, detail okay thank you i think we are getting close to the next rhythm check uh, we have to uh, get ready for the iv amedron and iv adrenaline are you ready with that i'm ready with iv adrenaline and amedron thank you sayomi i think uh, during the next cycle uh, sayomi can swap over with to sita yes sir 5 seconds more to the next rhythm check 5 4 3 2 1 stop start is a vf over to you ashoda Okay so to sit down now I'm going to deliver a shock but I want you to continue CPR everyone else please step away Stop CPR Everyone clear still VF delivering shock start CPR Okay can get deliver the drugs now I we adrenaline given IV amidoron 300 mg given IV drugs given and flushed with 20 cc of distilled water brilliant to sita can you get ready for the every other cycle adrenaline 1 in 10000 1 yeah. mg yes, okay sir. brilliant i think uh, we need to extrude 4 t's and 4 h's now um, since this patient was admitted with a Uh, angina i think the most likely yes. uh, cause here is thrombus yes, uh, but however we need to exclude the toxin i just had a look at the drug chart i, I and i don't think it's uh, one of the possibilities and uh, however we need to exclude tempenad um, to sit the uh, would you like to arrange a focused echo here sure okay sure. and uh, yashoda can you please check for tension pneumothorax please yes, sure and we need to exclude hypothermia here okay i central okay tension pneumothorax excluded patient is warm to touch okay so hypothermia also unlikely and um, i think we are getting the vbg oh now. thank you so i think we have got the blood gas and the potassium is 4 so because of that i think hypo and hyperkalemia okay. is also unlikely isn't it and 20 seconds more to the next rhythm check thank you there is ctc out of 45 uh, there might be a, a perfusing rhythm next time so we have to be ready and um, we are giving fluid so i think hypovolemia also unlikely and ventilation is okay isn't it so hypoxia is also unlikely 5 seconds more to the next rhythm okay. check okay 5 4 3 2 1 stop there is a perfusing rhythm here okay can you please please check for pulse ayashoda i am getting a pulse okay brilliant so Uh, I think this might be the ROS. Are you getting any spontaneous breathing? There are some small breathing attempts. Okay, I think still you need to continue the ventilation. Uh, we need to do a full ABC assessment. Yeah, Shoda, can you please go ahead with the yes, ABC sure, assessment? Yes, sure, definitely. Okay. So, Sachini, I think uh, you are all right with the airway. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So, like, uh, I'll go with breathing. So, sister, can you please arrange the ECG? Okay, sure. Okay, and I'm going to pre-alert the cardiology team while waiting for the ECG. Can I get a blood pressure reading, please? I think we had a very good uh, resuscitation event today. I am very happy that the patient had a successful uh, return of spontaneous circulation. I heard patient also had a PCI subsequently and uh, recovered now. 
um, so uh, I just think that we we notice multiple good things during this registration, isn't it? What do you think, Sachini? Uh, of course, uh, we had a good communication between us, and also it was a good idea to have a difficult AIB kit with us because uh, earlier we had difficulties in integrating and resuscitation patients during board stay and board setting. And also, uh, we had good quality compressions during the C uh, CPR because I had a cap of more than 14 since the beginning of CPR. So, I think it's a really good effort together. Exactly. Um, so, I would agree with you. And I think uh, there was some other things as well, isn't it? What do you think, Yashoda? Yes, I was like really impressed with the way the defibrillation and the CPR was coordinated. It went really smooth. That was like really. Uh, contributing to the positive outcome of the patient I think in the end yeah, exactly. and uh, yeah. everyone had a, like a really good idea yeah. about the role yeah. they were yeah. playing yeah. so there were no gaps or any delays exactly the the role allocation and they are sticking to the rules was very good and also uh, I noticed that everyone had a very good situational awareness what is about what is going on and uh, their non-technical skills were brilliant, isn't it? And uh, uh, yes, like now when you that say that about the situational awareness, uh, it was like really amazing that they have already given one shot yes, by the time yes. we were going there. Exactly. So that is the importance of uh, having a regular CPR training uh, in every hospital. Yes. I think it is very rewarding to see that yes, uh, definitely. the outcomes of our programs. Isn't it? Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah, it was a very good day, I think. Yes. Um, hopefully we will work again. Isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. See you. See nice you. to work with you all.